So when I posted my battery test video yesterday, a loyal viewer pointed out a problem with my testing methodology. So three cheers for peer reviewed science. The EverDrive GBX7 has a bit more of a power drain compared to a regular cartridge. One of the reasons why I did this test using the EverDrive is that I only have one copy of the actual cartridge of Tetris DX, and it does have a pretty sweet looping demo that would get us a pretty close approximation of gameplay. Now, I already have a time-lapse measurement of how long it takes to run a the Funny Playing FPGBC with an EverDrive, and that was 5 hours, 57 minutes, and 57 seconds. Let's run another time-lapse test with a Funny Playing FPGBC, fully charged, but this time with an actual cartridge of Tetris DX and the sound turned down because I don't want to listen to Tetris music all night. And let's go. And the result is six hours, 50 minutes and 11 seconds. Sweet! That is some good empirical data, and by having the two measurements, we can do some math and find out just how much of a power drain the EverDrive has. So if we take the time in seconds for the FPGBC with the EverDrive, which is 21,597 seconds, and then divide that by six hours, 50 minutes, and 11 seconds, or that is 24,611 seconds, small number divided by big number, and then subtract that from one, and we will have just how much more of a power drain you would have by using the GBX7. So that is an additional power drain of 12.2% when using the EverDrive GBX7 compared to using an actual cartridge. One of the reasons why a power drain using the EverDrive matters is that it's noticeable with a Game Boy compatible system is that the process of recreating the chips on the cartridge using an FPGA configurable gateway magic. So that does have a bit of a power drain and it's even more noticeable on Game Boy and Game Boy Color systems which is a bit of a deal because it's a, we're talking about a smaller measurement of power. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't let you modify a video once you've already published it. So I will put this next to my previous existing battery video. I will link to it in the description and the comments as supplemental data. You know, I strive for accuracy, but if I get things wrong, let me know about that down in the comments. That is what peer reviewed science is all about. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel and give it a like on YouTube. Tomorrow, I'm going to be publishing my ultimate guide to getting a CRT, and you don't want to miss it. This is 8-Bit Joystick. Stay awesome. Play retro.